Morning guys, I'm actually today in El Cotillo. I often try and get to come here and I hope you can hear me because it's always very very windy here. And um, this is actually was the first place that I've been the first time that I've been in for the winter. It was a little bit like first love at first sight. Uh, you know, as it's always a bit um, you never forget your first love, I think that's the same way, the same kind of feeling. things we plan to do today. Uh, but despite the fact that it's already near noon, I feel very very tired today. I didn't have my breakfast yet. So that's what we're, I'm going for. And just something to wake me up. <laughs> Probably something with caffeine inside as well, even though I'm not really coffee drink I do prefer tea actually instead of coffee but I think that I do need something to wake me up so first stop having some breakfast putting something inside my stomach and then I'm going for uh, one of the coffee shop that I do like the most here in Epitidio so let's go for that Okay, that was so much better. I definitely feel more awake now after after some caffeine. And uh, now I'm planning actually to take some to shoot some material, some video clips for for the channel, which is why I'm going to another beach here in El Cotillo. It's mainly like a surfer beach. Uh, or beach for surfer to surf, but it's quite beautiful as well. So let's go and check it out. Considering back at it, probably wasn't the best idea of my life. I'm probably being over dramatic, so let me give a little bit of context. I'm in um, the natural park of Coralejo, which is pretty famous for its sand dunes, which remind you a lot of, uh, of the Sahara, of the desert, because you have these big dunes of fine sands, which gives you that idea. And right after the dunes, you find the beach. Now, I don't know if you can see, the beach is actually, after that sand dune over there on my back, and you still need to walk quite some, quite some time. Like I said, I'm probably being a bit over dramatic, but uh, now I get it why they say that it seems like to be in the desert, not just for the dunes, but that's because when you have to walk from your car to the beach, Kind of, kind of give you the idea 
that you are in the desert <laughs> because you have to walk and walk and walk well consider the fact that it's actually also hot under the sun so considering that wasn't the best idea and my car is over there so i think we have a few more minutes to go to get back to it Puertito de los Molinos was one of my favorite places on the island, and a real discovery to be honest. It felt like I ended up in one of those Irish fishing villages, with its dark stone caves on which the waves break. Once there, you can reach one of the cliffs where you can admire the ocean from the top in the landscape. It is a quite a small fishing village with very few people and where the silence is only broken by the sound of the wind and the ocean. The beach of Puertito de los Molinos is small but it's a ideal place to relax and walk among the fishermen houses where it seems that time has stopped. So good morning guys, um, that's I think the good thing about already I've visited, I've had time to visit the island before, the two times that I've been here, that I'm trying to find some more like hidden gems or off the beaten path where, where tourists don't usually come uh, because of course they prefer to visit the um, mainly attraction of the island. Uh, but there are some really hidden gems which are really small treasure here on the island that I never knew they existed or anyway I didn't really have the time or the chance to visit like for example Pozo Negro here where I am today and it was really a I must say a finding um, you don't really you don't really expect too much or at least I didn't really expect too much but it's, it's really really beautiful it seems like almost no one lives here except for some fishermen boat there are some vacational houses as well and so you arrive here this very very small village with white and blue houses which reminds you a little bit of greece and you find uh this beautiful beach uh, this beautiful beach just in front of you at the end of the street so it's really suggesting and but one thing that i didn't really had the time to have breakfast yet so i i had a quick stop to the supermarket near where i stay and to just to buy something to drink something to eat so i'm planning to find a nice spot here and just have my breakfast with a really amazing view
Honestly, I would switch an impromptu meal in the car with an amazing view like today among everything else. I think that these are the best meals, that, some of the best meals that I had, like the one that you, you just came up, came up impromptu, you are in your car, you just stop on the side of the road because you see a scenic view or a nice place to enjoy your breakfast or your lunch or you just your snack. I think these are some of the best. Morning guys, I hope that you can hear me because it's pretty windy and I'm just right in front of the ocean so it's it's a bit hard to to hear me due to the fact to the noise of the of the ocean of the waves and today I'm actually planning to um, uh, visit all the south the south of the island which I already did but only stopped in Costa Calma. Um, there are so many other beaches and so many others nice little beaches that are like kind of off the beaten path or like they are not very known and and this is exactly the thing that I'm planning to visit and I'm planning to do and the first beach and it's really really beautiful it kind of reminds you a little bit of Portugal on one end give you some a sort of vibe or a Hawaiian vibe and a little bit of Jurassic Park as well uh, it's, it's really it's really big it's really extend an extensive beach and the waves here are like they are some of the strongest that I saw in the island. Seeing them like this, it feels like that if you get caught in one of them, it's like being punched by a Muay Thai fighter. <laughs> so that's the idea that they, they give. Uh, so now I'm think we are going to on to the next one. The southern you go and the most scenic the beach just becomes here. The core of the ocean acquires a completely different few from the other beaches all over the island. I must admit though that this place was not amongst my favorites, but the scenery is still very very beautiful and definitely worth a visit. <laughs> 